NASA has just detected something terrifying docking on the International Space Station. NASA's space station has been in existence for some time. The space agency is one of the most important in the United States. However, workers at the agency saw something in the International Space Station recently. Welcome to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content. The International Space Station is a large spacecraft that orbits the Earth. It also provides accommodation to astronauts and scientists who visit space for missions. It is also a unique space laboratory built through collaboration between NASA and many other countries. The space station travels around the Earth's orbit at a speed of 250 miles per hour. It completely circles the Earth's orbit in an hour and a half. NASA and other space agencies continue to learn about space and live outside our planet. The space station plays a critical role in the learning process. The space station accommodates a six-person crew and is the same size as a five-bedroom house. It has various parts besides the laboratories used for experiments and research. The nods connect different spacecraft parts, including the living quarters and laboratories. What happened at the station? The space station connects to the outside world through a landing dock. When visitors come to the station, they land first before being allowed into it. In addition, robotic arms enable scientists to embark on spacewalks and conduct experiments in space. Recently, the landing dock has been getting lots of attention because of strange objects that have landed on it. The unidentified objects were captured by one of the four cameras in the space station. NASA installed these cameras in 2014. They were mounted in the lab by the European Union space crew and called Columbus's Eye, a website situated in Germany, maintains a live stream from the cameras. There are multiple reasons for installing the camera besides relying on images of the Earth. NASA uses these cameras to monitor radiation caused by cosmic rays in space, and a pressurized temperature-controlled box protects them. Many people have accused NASA of deliberately sabotaging live streams from these cameras when they discover something important. Also, the space agency has been accused of filtering the information it releases to the public. However, this perceived attempt to withhold information has fueled the desire by UFO enthusiasts to desperately seek information concerning what NASA might be hiding. This is not the first time the world has heard about unidentified flying objects. There have been several unidentified aerial phenomena, UAPs, especially that of Kenneth Arnold, a businessman aviator, and politician. He wrote about unidentified flying objects. His findings are considered the earliest widely known cases of UFO sightings in America. His claimed sighting took place in 1947. During the Cold War, there were multiple reports of UFO sightings in the skies by many people within and outside the United States. People claimed possible UFO sightings in and around Leveland, a small town in Texas, USA. Some motorists described how their engines automatically stalled when they saw a glowing object shaped like an egg. They said their automobiles restarted after the thing flew past them. Although media reports stated that the U.S. military denounced the claims. They described the incident as either caused by ball lightning or a massive electrical storm. Interestingly, UFO sightings have happened outside the borders of the United States. For example, Hundreds of people reported UFO sightings in a Melbourne school in 1966. Students and teachers claimed they saw a flying saucer descend onto a grass field. The people also claimed the saucer later ascended over a regional suburb. However, there are no pictures to corroborate their stories, but witnesses to the strange occurrence still gather to this day for reunions. Some reports suggest the government investigated some of these claims. These reports also claim that these investigations were severe, not trivial, as the media would want the public to believe. However, there has been some extreme development in the inquiry concerning UAPs. So, what has NASA done about UAPs? Stay until the end to find out. NASA UAPs Study NASA selected 16 persons to participate in its independent research on Unidentified Anomalous Phenomena UAP, the new name given to strange moving objects found at the International Space Station. All observations of events in the sky that can't be identified as airplanes or as recognized natural occurrences, which NASA and other space agencies categorized as UAPs. The independent research began on October 24, 2022. During the next 
Nine months, the research team will identify how data received by civilian government agencies, commercial data, and data from more sources can be analyzed by NASA to provide more information about UAPs. Then, the team will suggest a roadmap for future UAP data analysis by NASA. Summarily, the team will lay the necessary framework for future study of the origin and nature of UAPs for NASA and other interested parties. NASA initially announced the study's launch in June 2020 after proclaiming that the handful of unexplained UAP sightings by different people makes it tough to have a broad scientific conclusion about the nature of such a phenomenon. Thomas Zerbuchen, Associate Administrator of the Science Mission Directorate at NASA, explained the importance of the study further. Exploring the unknown things about space and the atmosphere is at the heart of NASA's operations. So, understanding the data we have surrounding unidentified anomalous phenomena is essential to help us conclude include what is in our skies. Data is the language of scientists and makes bizarre occurrences explainable. NASA has maintained that there is no evidence that UAPs are extraterrestrial as many believe. However, the information available to the agency is limited, therefore it can't conclude. In addition, the United States military aircrew observed many UAPs, and their equipment on board documented probable objects whose movements are inexplicable. Sometimes the objects vanished into the sea, prompting Congress to assert that cross-domain transmedium threats to the United States national security are increasing rapidly. According to the Pentagon definition, a cross-domain transmedium threat is an object capable of moving from water to air to space in unexplainable ways. Pentagon and other agencies' involvement The possible threat to national security by UAPs got the attention of the Pentagon, so the organization announced the opening of the All-Domain Anomaly Resolution Office. The office will investigate unexplained aerial threats against the United States and its allies. In 2021, the DOD created the Airborne Object Identification and Management Synchronization Group to detect, identify, and attribute objects of interest in Special Use Airspace SUA. Further, the group will evaluate and mitigate any association threats to flight safety and national security. The DoD announced to the public that incursions by any object into the airspace pose a threat to the safety of flight and operation security concerns with the possibility of national security challenges. Therefore, the organization intends to investigate any identified or unidentified airborne object. The United States military has a long history investigating and documenting unidentified anomaly phenomena. The earliest program to investigate UAP sightings took place in 1947 by the United States Air Force. It was called Project Blue Book, and the project investigated 12,618 documented sightings over 20 years. The project officially ended in 1969 and categorized over 700 reported sightings as unidentified, according to documents provided by the United United States National Archives. Incidentally, the United States military officials brought the term unidentified aerial phenomena or unusual aerial phenomena. According to the military, the name was necessary to avoid the stigma related to the term UFO and its links to conspiracy theorists. UFO conspiracy theorists arguably started in New Mexico in 1947. After the crash of an Air Force balloon, the military intended to spy on the USSR nuclear program with. The military rapidly cleared the crash area and declined to comment on the incident or the program responsible called Project Mogul. However, since the crash, it has been the subject of speculations with assertions that the military base recovered a UFO and the possible remains of its allies' crew members. The increasing need for investigation into the UAP phenomenon has made other countries partner with the US to research it. One such country is Canada. The United States and Canada have maintained long military and civilian ties with UAPs, and both countries have agreed to share information about UAPs. The International Space Station, ISS completes its journey around the Earth every 90 minutes. Recently, the station discovered strange phenomena through its cameras. The discovery caused NASA to constitute an independent study program led by David Spurgle, a former chairman of the Astrophysics Department at Princeton University, United States. He will lead a 16-person team to study the UAP phenomena and lay the groundwork for further research. The findings of the group will be published in June 2023 by NASA. If you have made it to this point of the video, please remember to like and subscribe to the channel for more content.